Good evening. This is Corey with the Painted Peacock doing another spooky beverage uh, in my spooky beverage series. Decided to start with a light blue background this time, adding a little bit of that parchment color. Doing the bottom. Decided to do all of my tabletops the exact same color themes with this uh, burnt ember and vermilion. Part of my aesthetic is I enjoy kind of this streakiness with a variation of colors. I will often use a blow dryer to help my paint dry more quickly so that I can move on to the next step. My drink today is inspired by my recent discovery of boba tea. When doing something with a little bit of perspective like this, I want to make sure that my oval on the top of the cup and the oval of the top of my beverage are kind of reminiscent of each other. This is my little boba pearls, but instead of traditional boba, I've decided to do little pumpkins. Whenever I'm working on a little darker background, I will usually cut out my colors with just white, so I'm not having to do layer upon layer to get the color I want. And as you saw, sometimes happens, I try a technique, I hate it, and I wipe it off. Adding some oranges to my little pumpkins here. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted them to go, and so I embraced the theology of think less and trust the process. There are many times when I'm painting that I don't like the direction it's going. I feel like I'm making a mistake or I'm a crazy person just putting paint on a canvas. Trust the process. It always works out in the end. Just a few little highlights and a little low lights here. Understanding that the light source always comes from one location, so my highlights are all in the same direction and my shadows are always the same direction. To decorate the area around my cup, I decided to do some fall leaves. Fall is my most favorite season. I appreciate the little cooler weather and the colors. And the smell. I like the smell. I'm now going to add our little ghosty buddy. I'm also incorporating this dot work throughout this series, just using the back of my brush in a variety of colors. It's no particular rhyme or reason, just kind of on the, the outline of lines that are going to exist. And now the black outlining. It is absolutely my most favorite part of any painting like this. It brings whatever I am doing to complete life. This is usually when all of the things I was worried about before kind of straightens itself out. Doing some veins in our leaves. I like to use a thin brush that is also quite long. It allows me to load it up with much more paint than a short brush so that I can extend my movements. I don't have to keep going back to reload my brush. Little oak leaf, little maple leaf. Little highlights on my pumpkins. We'll be going in with the copper, like we are here in the form of dots, and soon we'll do that copper stitching that I'm also using to unify all these pieces together. And here we have it, a little boba ghost cup. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely evening.